Today we look into the unique and popular honey badger. The Honey Badger is listed as a personal defense weapon in Battlebit Remastered, which means its strong suit will be towards close range combat. This weapon does have a high rate of fire, but not so great damage. Overall, this weapon has been a bit of a disappointment and really is only worth playing for the cool factor or for challenges. That's because this weapon has an internal suppressed barrel, which sadly prevents you from swapping it out or adding barrel attachments. On top of this, the Honey Badger also has a slow bullet velocity, which is to be expected for this type of weapon which makes hitting moving targets past 30 meters a bit of a chore. It's not impossible to hit long shots with this weapon, but with a lack of damage and slow bullet velocity, you're basically throwing darts at the enemy. Again, we also end up with a similar issue that the Scar Age has when it comes to recoil. The Honey Badger has a lot of vertical and horizontal recoil, and with no way to swap out the barrel, we end up with a subpar weapon with no real way to make it shine. The best advice I can give is to play slow and flank the enemy with this weapon. Also, try to fire in short bursts instead of full auto if you do have the element of surprise. The built-in suppressor keeps this weapon very quiet, like Hollywood silencers type of quiet. It always surprises me to see just how close I could get to an enemy squad and knock each one down without them knowing where I was. Moving on, this is going to be a very quick episode because we can only change out the underbarrel grips. Before we break it down, if these loadouts help you out, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more videos more often, please consider subscribing. With that said, there are only two grips I would personally recommend, one for close range and one for tap firing. I don't even dare say long range. For the short range build, I recommend running the B25 URK grip. It does a great job of limiting the horizontal recoil, and even with the other downsides this weapon has, this grip does make the Honey Badger feasible at full auto up until 40 to 50 meters. Anything past that, and you will want to burst or tap fire. And as an honorable mention, I'll also include the BCM Gunfighter Grip as an alternative. It works very similar to the B25, but I found the BCM to handle it a little differently. So it may depend on your playstyle that would determine which one you prefer. I personally like the B25 Grip more, as it basically removes any vertical kick this weapon has. Also keep in mind this weapon starts with a 24 round mag, and the extended mag only brings that up to 28. So you won't be able to stay in the front lines for very long, and will be reloading often. On average, I could get about 2 kills per mag with a few bullets left in each mag. And for the tap fire build, the grip I recommend is of course the stable grip. It reduces that first shot recoil, so getting multiple shots on target will be a little easier. That said, this weapon is just a handful and I don't recommend running it for any kind of long range combat, and work to its strength, which is a high rate of fire, and decent enough damage for close range fights. All in all, this weapon just doesn't really seem to fit well against the rest of the arsenal. Even up close, this weapon can still be beat by many other rifles or SMGs. Like I said before, only use the Honey Badger if you're a big fan of it, or if you want to challenge yourself. It's not impossible to pull off some plays, but it's just not a comfortable weapon to use in most upfront fights. What do you guys think about the Honey Badger? Were you just as disappointed as I was, or are you enjoying it? Let me know and let's talk about it in the comments below. Until then, I am Mr. Rain, and I will see you guys next time.